in America for more than a decade before a shocking upset at the hands of the British in 1994. This year's U.S. team of Ryan Hughes, Jeff Emig, and Steve Lamson came up a painful point short of a tough Belgian trio, and we now have those pictures, Art. Bob, as you'll see, the American writers have absolutely nothing to be ashamed about. Uh, in fact, with a little bit of luck, they would have brought back the trophy. More than 30,000 fans gathered for this International Motocross Festival, and they were treated to some great racing. Suspenseful, up until the very end of the three-moto event. Each rider of the three-man teams runs two motos. It was the 500s, or open class, and the 125s in moto number one. Belgium's Joel Smets on a four-stroke Husaberg takes the whole shot. Smets keeps the thunderous four-stroke out in front to win his first of two open division victories. Smets is the 500 world champ, but take your hat off for number four Kawasaki's Ryan Hughes. Competing all season long on 125s, he took a second place in both 500 motos. An outstanding accomplishment in his first Major League 500 debut. Back in the pack, the star in Moto 1. Number nine, the Kawasaki to the outside, a 17-year-old Frenchman named Sebastian Tortelli. Tortelli dominated the 125s, taking the checkers in front of 250 world champ Stefan Everts, riding a 125 for Belgium, and U.S. Nationals 125 champion Steve Lampson in third. Moto 2 featured 125s again and the 250s. America's 250 rider Jeff Emick, number five, got the whole shot and led the first 13 minutes of the 30 minute plus two lap moto. Once again, back in the pack, Tortelli took his 125 past both Everts and Lampson for an identical 1-2-3-125 one, finish. The 250 was an eye-opener. A German number 14 pit buyer on the Honda with a sleeve rolled up fought his way from fifth place to win the opening 250 round. Emig held off number 11, Belgium's Marnique, for votes for second place. The final moto and the 500s were back joining the 250s. And this is where it got nail-biting exciting. The U.S. team needed to win both classes to win the title. The 500 Husky of Sweden's Peter Johansson took the lead. The Belgian Verbos went down out of the first turn and would battle back for only an eighth-place finish. Number 14, Pitt Pyre, looking for a double win in the 250s, passed for the lead. But he would go down hard. Emig took advantage of Byer's misfortune, taking his 250 past Johansson's 500 for the lead. Emig rocketed to a six-second lead on Smets, who also had gotten by Johansson. Hughes, in fourth, needed to beat Smets for a U.S. victory, so Emig slowed up, hoping to bunch up the field in back of him, holding them up to give Hughes some shots at passing. It worked. Hughes reeled in the Englishman, Nicole, close behind Smets, but with four laps to go, Nicole lost control right in front of Hughes. They both went down, ending U.S. hopes. For Emig, it was showtime, winning the overall 250 class. Hughes remounted for a second place in the open class, but it was Smets, who had seen his team lose the trophy by a point, celebrating the first championship for Belgium since Roger de Coster days. De Coster, ironically, this year's U.S. team captain. Tortelli, vaulting France into third place. All right, thanks, Art.